Stone Cold's reign as WWE Champion came to a tragic end, and Mr. McMahon's hatred for the Texas Rattlesnake finally reached its boiling point, leaving the boss to search outside of his realm for a suitable ally. I present the higher power. Who could it be? It's me, Austin! Oh, son of a... It was me all along, Austin! You all bought it! Even my immediate family bought it! But what Mr. McMahon forgot was that behind every strong man was an even stronger woman. Dad, Shane, how could you be so cruel? We really weren't trying to hurt you, Stephanie. You see, it's just business. And with the maniacal Mr. McMahon in power, the WWE Board of Directors found that they needed to do business as well, starting with a new CEO. <laughs> Our next pay-per-view event, which is King of the Ring, it will be me in one corner, and Vince, it'll be you and that little son of yours in the other corner. We take this CEO title of yours. You hang it up by the ring, and the only way to reach up and grab it all, Austin, is by climbing a ladder. The ladder man for all the marbles. It's winner take off. Ladies and gentlemen, now entering the ring for tonight's winner-take-all ladder match from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The most phenomenal roar I've ever heard in this arena is for the Rattlesnake. Good God Almighty. They're on their feet. 20,108. And you're damn right it's personal. My God. Can you imagine if tomorrow this guy has control of the WWE? The only thing worse than Stone Cold as champion is Stone Cold as CEO. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Yes, indeed. The ownership of the WWE is on the line. Hanging high above the ring is that briefcase. With all the goods in it, King, all the paperwork, all that will allow the winner of this ladder match to control World Wrestling Entertainment. And Mr. McMahon said that he's going to fight tonight, JR. He's fighting for his business. He's fighting for his, his life. McMahon has never had a more desperate, a more serious, night not from the federal government not from a lawyer not from anybody more than he has tonight because McMahon's company is on the line here oh the carnage the impact just debilitating well the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival the match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects reversed it his chest may be black and blue after this oh once you get out of the ring anything can happen you've got exposed steel concrete the barricades and all of it can be used to cause massive damage impact there well the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival the match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects hard body shot connects a strike out of nowhere Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. 
Austin trying to get even for all those months and months of hell the McMahons have caused the Rattlesnake. Well, if Austin wins, the rest of us are in for months and months of hell in the future. And there's the reversal from Shane McMahon. There he goes again. Well, we're on the move here. The company is at risk here. The company is at stake. The McMahons could be unemployed in less than 24 hours. The future of the WWE is up in the air. Yeah, up in the air, literally. It's in that briefcase hanging way above the ring. Remember, no disqualifications, no pinfalls. Oh, this is a very dangerous situation, JR. Look out! Go, go, Steve Austin ladder match against both the McMahons. Vince and Shane, Mr. McMahon oh. and his son, Satan and Satan Jr. This is not right, Jer. Mr. McMahon's an executive. He's not made to be put through this, tor this sort of torture. Oh! He is a, a demonic human being in my estimation, and Austin knows that. Austin knows his back is against the wall. The tables could turn at any time. And so could the ladders. Yeah, where's Home Depot ah. when you need it? Clean up on aisle seven. There's some teeth on the floor, I think. I'm afraid if Mr. McMahon's not careful, there's gonna be a spill. No, this is enough, Stone Cold, oh! Again, it's Shane McMahon being bounced around like a, a rubber ball through anything that's not nailed down. Jerry, you gotta look at the look on Stone Cold's face. I think he's actually enjoying this abuse that he's fishing out to the McMahons. Austin loves a great fight. We know the rivalry between Austin and the McMahon. This is not a fight, it's a total beatdown with weapons, with ladders. This is not fair. Oh my. And last Monday on Raw, there can be no corporate interference in this match, or the McMahons will be disqualified, and Austin will win the match. Well, the McMahons don't need any outside help at all, JR. Mr. McMahon is cornered, and a cornered man is a dangerous man. Dangerous enough even to beat a rattlesnake. Well, I had dinner with Austin last week, and he doesn't think so. Oh, really? Who's the corporate bootlicker now? Look out! Shane McMahon being pressed hard. Oh, look at this. Mr. McMahon is 53 years old and in phenomenal shape. Well, maybe right now. We'll see how good a shape. Austin, no! A perfect Stone Cold Stunner! A stiff blow with the knee. Not going to win many matches with that move. Oh, out of nowhere! Oh, the velocity! The impact! You could hear it! And the emotion just comes pouring out. He's in full-on attack mode now. A big slam. I'm not sure I can watch this.
Oh, looking to put... Well, that's it. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Shane McMahon seems helpless. They are leaving a path of destruction. You can't do this! Incredible move by Steve Austin. Well, we're on the move here. What a debilitating smash with that chair. as a weapon. Now that was a job jacker. Oh, what a shot from that ladder. Getting back into the ring now. Making it. Oh, look at this, JR. Stone Cold up that ladder. If he gets there, this thing's over. If he can reach that briefcase. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Austin trying to retrieve the briefcase. Put the McMahons out of business as far as Shane and, and Mr. McMahon are concerned. It is a two-on-one handicap match. Anything goes. And look at this. Wait a minute. Use the ladder. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, that's not going to work. That's not exactly uh, astute ingenuity. What's next for these morons? These, these are supposed to be business geniuses. And now look at this. Well, they're in dire straits. They're in an emotional situation. All they need is a couple of pairs of big shoes. They might like two clowns in there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Austin's up. This is not gonna be good. Somebody's going down. Uh, Somebody's going down. Bam! Oh. Mr. McMahon and his son Shane knocked down Austin with, a, with an opportunity now. Oh, and stunner! Oh, man, the stunner! And then another stunner oh. on Shane O'Mac. Okay. The rattlesnake has a clear path to victory now. Austin sets the ladder. Make sure it's sturdy. All Austin has to do now is get up that ladder. Oh, my. Mr. McMahon is just a mess right now. And no doubt. Look at this, JR. Stone Cold is climbing the ladder. Wait a minute. The, the, the briefcase is ascending, as is Austin. Austin's no physical way to reach the briefcase. What's going on here? I have no idea, but that briefcase is going up down like a yo-yo. You gotta be kidding me. There is collusion here. Austin knows something is screwing. I don't think that's the guy in charge of that. We certainly don't have anything to do with it. Vincent Man, Vincent Man going to the top. He's the, reaching for the briefcase. The briefcase is lowering. Uh-oh, now and Stone Cold. Oh. Austin up on the, on the ladder, the briefcase is is rising a little bit to get out of Austin's reach. Shane O'Mac kicked back down. Oh, Austin going for it, but now Vince just hammering away at Austin. And look at Shane. Look at Shane. Shane pushing the ladder. Ah! And both his daddy and the rattlesnake go down. Shane McMahon has an opportunity. Can he seize the moment? Can Shane McMahon seize the moment? He's got the McMahon family. He's got that ladder set up. Shane climbing to the top of the ladder. And look at the briefcase. It's lowering down what into the, his grasp. Where the hell's Houdini? <laughs> David Copperfield. Shane's got it. And the McMahons have retrieved the briefcase. They have won the ladder match. Here are your winners, Shane McMahon and Mr. McMahon. And there's no doubt in my mind 
that lost its life will now become even more of a living hell.